Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at subordinating conjunctions. Yes, like uh, although, unless, even though, even if, as long as, and because. So let's get started. So, what is a conjunction? Well, a conjunction is a joiner, a word that connects parts of a sentence. There are three types of conjunctions, coordinating, subordinating, and correlative. Today we're going to look at the subordinating conjunctions, also called subordinate conjunctions. So what do subordinating conjunctions do? They join dependent clauses to independent ones. So, for example, a C for subordinating conjunction, plus dependent clause, comma, plus independent clause. Or it could be independent clause, plus subordinating conjunction, plus dependent clause. Please notice that the subordinating conjunction goes before the dependent clause. So, things to remember. You cannot have a subordinating clause without an independent clause, that is, your main clause. Your sentence wouldn't be complete and your reader will be wondering what happened. So let's list some subordinating conjunctions. Because, even though, although, unless, as long as, even if, when, before, after, how, by the time, if, so, while, as, etc., etc. Let's organize them by categories. So the first one, time, after, as soon as, until, whenever, comparison, rather than, than, whether, concession, though, although, even though, relative pronouns, who, whoever, whose, whom, condition, if, only if, unless, provided that, reason, because, since, so that, in order to. Relative adjectives, that, whatever, which, manner, how, as though, as if, place, where, and whatever. Obviously, there are many others, but these ones are the most common ones. So let's look at some examples of reason category. Since we've got a few minutes to wait for the train, let's have a cup of coffee. So you can see that we have the subordinating conjunction right before the dependent clause. Then we need a comma and then an independent clause. Another example. I love Van Gogh's art because he uses color so brilliantly. So here we have the independent clause plus the subordinating conjunction and then the dependent clause. So let's look at concession examples. Though it was raining, she went out. So we have the subordinating conjunction plus the dependent clause, then we have a comma, and then we have the independent clause. She went out. He lives in a small house, even though he's a millionaire. So we have the independent clause first, then we have the subordinating conjunction, which is even though, and then we have the dependent clause. So let's take a look at common mistakes. Major ideas belong in main clauses, not in the subordinating clauses or phrases where readers are unlikely to give them the attention they deserve. Just like this example. Literacy, which has been defined as the ability to talk intelligently about many topics, is highly valued by business people as well as academics. So it's better to write something like this. Highly valued by business people as well as academics, literacy has been defined as the ability to talk intelligently about many topics. Now, I underlined the subordinating clauses in both sentences just to show you where it can be better placed. Let's take a look at another common mistake excessive subordination. 
This results from stringing together too many subordinate expressions at once. This can leave the reader confused. Try separating it into more sentences. Just like this example. Big city mayors who are supported by public funds should be cautious about spending taxpayers' money for personal needs, such as home furnishings, especially when municipal budget shortfalls have caused extensive job layoffs, angering city workers and the general public. It would actually be better this version. Big city mayors should be cautious about spending taxpayers' money for personal needs, especially when municipal budget shortfalls have caused extensive job layoffs. They risk angering city workers and the general public by using public funds for home furnishings. I underlined the subordinating clauses in both sentences just to show you where we can better place them. So now let's practice. Complete the sentences with a subordinating conjunction. Pause the video for five minutes and then I'll give you the key. Now that your answers are ready, let's look at the key. He will promptly arrive at 9 p.m. unless his flight is delayed. Unless here is the subordinating conjunction. Number two, I was listening to music. You can use when or until my friends arrived. Number three, now that he's here, comma, he may as well stay for lunch. Number four, can I come to the party whenever I like? Whenever is your conjunction here. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions about subordinating conjunctions, type them under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the video, hit on the like button and you may share the lesson with your friends if you like it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.